There are a variety of pathways that students can take when studying English in the senior phase at Holyrood Secondary School. Regardless of which pathway they take, they will all be offered opportunities rich in language to help develop their communication skills. One of the options is study English at National 3. We tend to have few students studying at this level, but those that do have a rich experience developing their communication skills. National 3 is the appropriate progression for pupils achieving first or second level at the end of S3. It emphasizes communication skills and the ability to understand written and spoken text, as well as to generate their own through speech and through writing. In this course, pupils are assessed on producing language and understanding language, which are internally assessed units for writing, talking, listening, and reading. If students are to study National 4 in English, they're often working at third level at the end of S3. Assessment for pupils is continuous in class and unit based, much like at National 3, but also with an added value unit in place of a final exam. Students at National 4 are assessed on language and literacy skills as well. There are two main units as well as the added value unit. Creation and production again focuses on internally assessed units of writing and talking and analysis and evaluation looks at the use of language and is assessed in a listening unit as well as a reading unit. This is an example of an added value unit created by a National 4 student. You can see that they have selected a topic that is interesting to them. They looked at dangerous sports, um, particularly in F1, and they examined the use of language in two different newspaper articles. They talked about some of the main ideas as well as examining the language used in the reports. You can see their teacher helped scaffold for them in order to help them identify techniques, examples, and impacts of the language. As well, there's also an internally assessed writing unit, and in this case, the class examined the issue of sustainability and deforestation, and then students had to write a report. We value the pupil voice in English, and these are responses from some of our National Force students, talking about how they enjoyed writing essays on topics of interest, um, as well as being able to discuss that in class. National 5 is another option and the one that we have most students sitting at Holyrood Secondary School. This is for pupils achieving fourth level at the end of S3. There are a few different components that pupils are assessed in. First of all is the exam. So the exam typically happens in April or May and has two different components to it. The first component is reading for understanding, analysis, and evaluation, which is worth 30% of their final grade and is a one hour exam. This is what we typically call close reading, in which students will read an article, an editorial piece typically from a newspaper, and will respond to a variety of questions both about the content and the language used. The second component is the critical reading paper, which is worth 40% of their final grade. This has two aspects to it. The first is on a Scottish text that they will have studied in class. The second one is essay writing about another piece of quality literature that they have studied over the course of the year. Their folio, which is component three, is two different essays. One will be broadly creative, such as a short story or personal reflective, and the second one will be broadly discursive, such as a report or persuasive essay. These are completed prior to the exam and sent, sent away to the SQA for marking. This is worth 30% of their final grade. The final component is internally assessed and it's based on achieved or not achieved, and it's a spoken language requirement. It's essentially a presentation given or a group discussion in which students are asked to demonstrate their spoken language skills. We can see here an example of the critical essay, which was part of component two, written by a National 5 student. At this level, we expect that students are developing their vocabulary and elevating their language when communicating ideas about literature. They need to be analytical and evaluative about the text that they have. Here we have another example of student work from component two, this time referring to the Scottish text. In this, a student has examined six different poems by Caroline Duffy and is being asked to examine different aspects of one of the poems in front of them, particularly in the use of language. There are a number of things that students enjoy about National 5, uh, particularly creative aspects of English, engaging with different issues that impact on humanity, um, and they can recognize the different 
positive experiences and how this can help them in their future career. Because English supports young people in developing their communication skills, it can help them to excel in any future career that they choose to pursue. There are specific occupations that require a strong background in English, uh, including but not limited to becoming a lawyer, a teacher, a marketing executive, etc. All of these are opportunities that young people will have if they study English to a high level and really apply themselves to their studies.